Hi, how you doing today? I'm your host, Richard D'Souza, here on behalf of the Rich TV Show with our very special guest, Alon Giahi, the CEO of Secure Private Data. How are you doing today, Alon? Uh, great, Rich. Thanks uh, for having me, and thanks, everyone, for watching. Always a pleasure. The first thing I want to talk about is the big news. You guys have a new distribution agreement with some European countries. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this, Alon? Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a distribution agreement with a very large uh, fiduciary company. A fiduciary company is a is a is an accounting firm that handles usually large corporations, uh, tax and and accounting and so forth. This company is based in Portugal with very big ties in Ireland as well. So the deal there is to distribute secure uh, corporate solution to lawyers, financial. Uh, advisors and other corporates, oil companies and so forth throughout Portugal, Ireland and also Spain. And uh, this is part of our new stretch to expand beyond the US into Europe and sell our corporate solutions in those countries as well as nobody's immune to these hackings that you see every day now. Now, one of the big things that we've been really talking about is crypto here on the Rich TV show and crypto has done extremely well. And one of the issues that people have in crypto is hacking. You can lose all your crypto if you get hacked. You can lose all of your savings if you get hacked. How is Secure going to be able to help people in the crypto space along? That's a great question. So as much as crypto is, is uh, uh, are in wallets and wallets are supposed to be safe, they do get hacked. And the weak link is very often the communication that a buyer and seller might do or just friends in crypto. And they use uh, typically the, you know, most of the time it would be a Gmail or a Hotmail or some other email like that. And for messaging, Unfortunately, it's either Telegram, Signal, or WhatsApp, which none of them are safe. One of the main reasons is that the first thing they, they ask from you is your phone number. And then through your phone number, when you download the app, you can be, you will be intercepted and your data mined, et cetera, and all your communication. Same with email. And through that communication back and forth, a hacker can intelligently find out your profile, what you do, where you have your your wallets, et cetera, and then they find their way there. There was an incident where um, I think it was Coinbase got hacked. I think it was a $400 million issue. They even were able to text a person that had a cold storage. So it's not even, uh, uh, and, and they were able to find out and extract from that person uh, all the info enough to take $2 million from that person, pausing as their support. So. What happens is when you use regular communication tools, most of them free big tech application, you're really giving away your privacy away to those companies. And the companies, basically the prime directive is to mine your data. It's not to protect it. Secure works differently. Uh, it gives you a full anonymous uh, identity. It doesn't require your phone number. You can chat with secure and with non-secure users through our chat by invite. And when you email someone, maybe you're looking at a transaction or buying a car with your crypto and you're discussing it with friends or you want to buy uh, and exchange something, you would want to use the secure send feature of our secure mail, which essentially communicates only within our server in Switzerland. So we have four, four big things. We are non-big tech. We have our own infrastructure, our own encryption. We don't use open source. Open source encryption, about 95% of the time is, is hacked. All these hacks are open source coding, unfortunately. And we also obey the Swiss data privacy laws. So if you have like our VPN messenger and email rolled into one, you're really protecting your identity and your, and your information and your transactions in a very uh, high level manner. And of course, everything is hosted in Switzerland in our own machine. So you, we obey the Swiss data privacy law, which dictates that it is completely illegal to data mine you or even to tamper with your IP address. So that's how we do that with our crypto friends. We're also working on accepting crypto. I think later in the year, we'll be able to integrate that into Stripe, our payment system. And you know, you're getting government level uh, security and privacy that most people don't get.
That sounds fantastic. And being someone that's in the crypto space, and I know a lot of our audience is in the crypto space, this sounds like something that is a very big need. Now, one of the questions that we've had from some of our listeners is what is the price and the cost of the services? Can you go through some of the costs and the prices of the services you are offering at Secure? Sure. So uh, you, we have three plans, individual, business, and corporate. I think here we're looking at mostly individuals. If you buy a bundle, it'll be about 46 to $50 US per month or 10 times that in a year. You get two months free when you buy a yearly package. If you only want the messenger, I think it's about 15 US. Uh, the email is 20, um, you know, and I think 15 is the VPN, which I would recommend. Most other VPNs, especially big famous one that I can't name here, are leaking your IP. So don't think because you're using some kind of VPN that you're being protected. These VPNs are stored in data centers globally using the same big tech. So we offer a Swiss VPN. There's also, I have to say it, there's a company called ProtonMail. It's a complete open source email service that got hacked three times last October, about 5,000 people got their data uh, sold in the, in the black market, uh, in the dark web, mostly politician aides and uh, Congress people and their staff. So Proton Mail is not something that's gonna help you. And they use Amazon Web Service for their VPN. So if somebody says, I have Proton, I know a ton of crypto people, and Proton has made a name way back because it was a Swiss hosted system. But what they fail to tell you is that it's all Amazon, it's all open source. In fact, they're moving away from Switzerland. So if you want to have a full package, it'll be 46 to $50 US a month. If you just want the messenger, then it's 15 and the email is 20. I recommend at least to get the email and messenger if you chat a lot with people. And, you know, for an extra 10, 15 bucks, you also can serve fully anonymously and privately uh, without having your IP address being monitored and, and being tempered with, essentially. That sounds great. And I know that myself, I am using all three of these services and it makes me sleep well at night knowing that I'm protected. And thank you so much for your time today, Alon Giahi, the CEO of Secure Private Data. We really appreciate you coming on the show. Is there anything else you want to let the listeners know about before we say goodbye? Uh, yes, I'm hoping, Rich, because I know you have a special deal for your viewers. I'm hoping that you put that link underneath. Uh, if you go to secure.com, so, so rich TV, I think that'd be great. And you can go there directly by, um, and that's one thing or put rich TV as a promo code under SEKUR.com. But I recommend everyone to go to that link that's posted, I believe under the video, that's a special, uh, uh bundle that we negotiated with rich TV. So you benefit from it too. That sounds great. Thank you for your time today alone. And for those of you that are watching, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners, CEO interviews, breaking news, trending topics in the world of finance, and we bring it to you first. It's time for you to get secure with Secure Private Data. Thank you for your time, Alan. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Always a pleasure, and we'll see you guys soon.